our senses that our senses are being experimented with. Okay. They're saying there's too many humans. There's it's too too there's too many. They didn't expect it to be that like that. Are there some or some people on the planet that will not be um, tricked into that? Yes. Hi, this is Andreas and Heidi from Hyperspace Connection. As promised, this is our third video, part three of the Dolores Cannon channeling that we executed the last couple of weeks. This part will show the part of the video, the session that we had before we actually connected to Dolores. We gathered some information about the current crisis that we are all in and the future of human society as it seemed to. There must be people, and I think most of you know that, that they exist, but there are people that are actually doing something behind the scenes that doesn't seem to be very friendly. So go and listen what we discovered and how Heidi could connect with the information that seems to be from the future. Do whatever you want to do with that information, but if you connect what we discovered and as well with the other two videos and you observe what's going on right now outside of you in the world, if you just open your eyes and as well your heart, then you see that there is something going on that is not good and it is really time for you as well to stand up against it. Stop just watching the videos and listen to it show some action. So what I'm asking for is, we do our work here that some people really consider as valuable and some just as entertainment. But I'm asking you, please share those videos with all your friends and your family so they can learn what we're doing and what's at stake. I'm asking you as well to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so by now and give us likes. It helps us and supports us. Tell me what you feel, what you perceive. I feel like my senses are... I feel numb. I feel like, um... I feel like I can't taste or smell. And I'm having a hard time feeling. I feel like I'm in some type of... I'm at some party. That thing that was touching my hands. It, as though it doesn't have any feelings. It wants to show me this party. And there's people there. I smell perfume. But at the same time, I feel like I don't have any senses. I think this person or this thing next to me is... I, it's me there, but I'm, it's showing me it. Can you please elaborate on that? What do you mean by that? It's showing they're, it. Yeah, it says it's, they're testing our senses or being experimented with. Can you please repeat that? So this, they're testing our senses, our senses that our senses are being experimented with. Okay, we want to know what that means, our senses, who do, you, who do you refer to our? People. The people on earth? Maybe? Yeah. Okay. And who do you refer to, they or their? The people that are there. You said somebody's experimenting on the senses? Yes. And you said they or there? What do you mean by that? Mm, I don't know if they're scientists or it's a big party with 
lots of elite people and I feel like there's some type of extremely intelligent people there because a few of them will look kind of like maybe they could be some type of scientist or something, I don't okay. know. Mm -hmm. So you're led to this party and you feel that those people have something to do by or want to test the to test feelings of people or senses? Yeah, it's um it's it's a these people are, are they know, they know what they're doing. Okay. And this thing that's next to me, it's almost as though it's telling me this is we're we're being tested. Okay. Well, then go forward and try to connect with one of those people there uh, on a safe way to figure out what they're testing. How to control the senses so that it's almost like we're becoming these not, not what we are anymore. The, there's things they're putting in our body or they're testing to see what works and what doesn't work so that it can be created in almost like a future robot type of looking thing. Mm -hmm. and it's an experiment. Everything is being experimented right now. So what would be the goal of that experiment? The control. Mm -hmm. Control over the senses? Of the senses, yes. Mm -hmm. And with that, the control of what? Of the body. Mm -hmm. mm. Almost as though there's groups of people being formed, beliefs of what we feel when we, as people, decide to go in a certain direction. So what are the consequences of that change? There will be ones that will survive and ones that are on the ground. What do you mean by that they survive? Who is surviving? Those that are being changed or those that are not being changed? That are being changed. It's all different belief. The belief systems are no longer there. Everything is changed. Okay. And because, because our senses are being messed with that when we ingest something it's almost as though it's making us it's it's everything is it when we put it in our mouth it's not what we expect it to be almost as it's very powerful but yet we can't taste it. Okay, let's say uh, we have that information. So what is the importance for us to know that now? What is the importance for us to know uh, and for uh, the viewers of that video as well that is being created right now? There's stuff being created right now that many you might be aware of but it's even, it goes deeper than that. And it has to do with what's going on right now. You say it has to do with something that is going on right now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you please elaborate on that? Please explain. Well, with, there are some that are being affected by this whatever we call virus or whatever people, some are affected by it and because of that they're able to pinpoint who these people are and actually by taking 
certain things from them or injecting certain things, it helps them experiment even more on what is put into this that will affect humankind in the future. So it's almost like a creation that's being created in the scientific development of underground. Okay, let's say that's being created and it's going to succeed. Going to a possible future where that succeeds. Who's going to profit and what is the purpose or reason for having a society like that? Somebody or something profits from it, gains. Mm -hmm. Reach out for that information. I am, and he's grabbing my hand tighter. The ones that are here that are extremely intelligent, and they uh, want to control the society. Almost as though there's, they're saying there's too many humans. No, there's it's too too there's too many. They didn't expect it to be that like that. Who is they? Well they're standing there, but it's almost as though I can't see them. So what will be the gain they have when they succeed with their plan? Power. And there's um some power going on. It's a it's a power thing. It's Kind of like it's repeating. They are in, in power of what happens to this world, I guess. Okay. Well then, reach out for the information. What or what makes people either willingly or unwillingly being a part of that experiment, and who or what? is aware of it and knows what to do to not allow that. Well, they, they work through the mind. They know the weakness of many people. Whether it's belief systems or religions or internal things going on with them, but they once they have the hook on you, it's almost as though you just are you can't, you can't even think for yourself anymore. And then you start feeling kind of like you're in this world one of confusion because a part of you is becoming taken away. And that's when they, you become a slave. Are there some or some people on the planet that will not be um, tricked into that? Yes. So what is the difference between those people and those that are misled? Because they have something within them that, that and doesn't allow them to go beyond a certain point. So that's what they're trying to find out too. It feels as though they're trying to find out it's an experiment. Mm -hmm. uh, they, these ones that are not allowing this have a very powerful energy inside of them. If you, and this is always regarded to be, um, be careful, but if you would basically see whole humanity as a percentage, how much of the humanity, the beings that are down here right now, humans, would be not affected if you would have a percentage or a number? 25%. Okay. Are those 25% powerful enough to not let that happen? Yes. What would they need to do to counteract that? What's going on? Play the game. Can you please explain what you mean by that? Play it again. That's what he's telling me. Mm -hmm.
So do you need to play the game? To what point? Until it's at the worst. And when it's at the worst, that's when the others will listen. Mm -hmm. Will that change back to normality, if you want to call it that way, or back to a better outcome? Will that be with or without violence? He said there will be violence. Okay. He's like, why do you think you were walking over those people? I want you to inform that um, there is another video uh, where Heidi actually talks about the whole session that we had and you might don't want to waste that out. Uh, hear her talk and explain how she experiences such a session and the information that comes through her and you may can see that from a different angle and make your mind up. This video will follow shortly and you will see and hear Heidi talking about it. Thank you for watching and listening and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.